For reasons that elude me, one of the most popular videos I've ever made is my project for 3D printed PVC and EMT pipe profiles. I'm happy that so many people have found it useful, but at the time I made it, I was really just logging my latest efforts and I didn't think it would be very popular at all. I, I guess I'll just never understand what people are looking for, but I thought I would offer up this similar project, which is a collection of adjustable pipe clamps for attaching half-inch wooden dowels, half-inch EMT, and half-inch uh, PVC pipe. It's useful in that you can change the angle in 10 degree increments and you can mix and match pieces so you can have different types of pipe fastened together. Let's take a look. Printable Science presents 3D printed adjustable pipe clamps for half inch wood, PVC, and EMT dowel and pipes. Nothing is more frustrating than finding something on the internet only to be unable to find it later on when you decide you need the information you stumbled across. So somewhere in the vast tubes of the internet, it may have been Facebook or YouTube or who knows, I came across the actual name of, of this type of clamp. Uh, but uh, I confess that I have finally given up. And uh, I'm uh, just going to call it a, an adjustable clamp. Now you've probably seen this kind of clamp before. It, it employs a rather simple concept that allows you to rotate two plates and with uh, partitions on uh, one side and recesses on the other, the plates mesh securely and with the addition of just a, a little sideways pressure, uh, you end up with a uh, joint that's uh, secure and uh, with only a little uh, clamping pressure. Now, I use a fair amount of PVC and EMT pipe in my projects, and recently I've also been uh, using some uh, wood doweling and came across an instance where I uh, wanted to have an angled pipe come off a vertical pipe secured in a base. The design is pretty straightforward. Two cylinders on separate pieces that rotate around a central axis that can be compressed with that screw. If you did that with uh, smooth mating cylinders, you could tighten it, uh, but the final result wouldn't uh, take much weight before it slips out of place. So the addition of the bumps on one side of the cylinder face and matching gouges on the other allows the two cylinder faces to lock into place uh, and very securely even with uh, the moderate uh, amount of tension uh, that you apply. All of these parts were printed in PLA with two perimeters, 0.4 millimeter nozzle, 0.2 millimeter layer height, and 20% infill. Now, if you're going to use 3D printed bolts, print them with at least 80% infill. Now, you'll notice on either side of uh, the uh, mating cylinder faces, uh, there is a hole. And uh, there are STL files for each of the diameters involved. Uh, even though we're talking the same nominal size of half inch, all three of the materials involved actually have three different diameters. Now part of the reason for this is that the uh, diameter of the wooden dowel is the exterior diameter, and the stated diameter for the two top pipes is their internal diameter. But there's also the issue of material strength. The PVC needs to be a much thicker pipe in order to provide enough structural strength at least compared to the metal EMT. Even so, the PVC pipe will still sag at fairly short lengths, which is why I favor EMT in most of my projects. Yes, it's harder to cut, but it's about the same price as PVC and it's a lot stronger. Now, once you've printed off the pipe, you could just insert one side of the clamp over the first two and then grab another clamp piece and slide it over the other. As is my custom, I provide STL files for fully printed 3D printed bolts, but I also provide caps as well that you can stick on to uh, a steel bolt. This means that if you have an application where you just don't trust the strength of a PLC uh, printed part, uh, you can use a one quarter by 20 bolt, half inch or three quarter inch, depending on uh, the depth that you need, and uh, glue on the stylistic cap and you'll preserve the design of the completed project. 
So uh, this isn't uh, rocket science or anything like that, but uh, the printed parts you'll need for uh, this specific project are a base and uh, a uh, tightening screw with a cap for it, like that, and uh, three uh, bolt covers, or you can print the entire thing uh, with uh, the uh, thread uh, already mounted. If you feel that's strong enough, I usually find that's strong enough for this particular application. And then uh, two halves of uh, the mount, one with uh, a protrusion on uh, the uh, face and the other one with a recess. So that uh, locks together in 10 degree increments. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is uh, gluing uh, bolts into the uh, cap covers course if you are printing the entire cap with the thread you don't need to do that but uh, it allows me to show off as I usually do our uh, very handy uh, glue uh, station so let's get ahead with that there then so we just squeeze the epoxy we need Use a paddle. Mix it up. And then uh, we're going to use half inch bolts, I think, is probably what's called for here. And uh, one three-quarter inch. So we're going to use uh, two half inch uh, one quarter twenty thread and one three-quarter inch and it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, put some epoxy on the head and uh, then uh, all you have to do is uh, slap it into the container, push it down, and uh, you know, let the glue set. And we'll also uh, do it with this, which requires another quarter inch. Although it's not strictly necessary for uh, this because We've got a handy little cap for it, but I guess this will keep everything in place. And we like that, right? Okay. So there we go. We just let that. Okay, so uh, I'm sure the glue is set by now. Uh, uh, so we just take the one that uh, is the clamp for the actual clamp, okay, and uh, we just take the little cap and then that dresses it up nicely like that. So there we have uh, uh, the uh, clamp clamp and then we have uh, bolts uh, to uh, half inch and one three quarter inch. So here's our base, and we're going to start here with a demonstration of uh, with uh, PVC half-inch pipe, uh, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. All you do is uh, take uh, one half of the clamping mechanism, you put the pipe in it, you uh, take one of the half-inch uh, bolts, and uh, thread it in there. That's the concept anyway. And then you uh, take a, another air, uh, piece of uh, PVC pipe and uh, put a clamp uh, over top of it, clamp half over top of it, and uh, use uh, the half inch uh, bolt. And uh, that point all that's left to do is uh, slide 
this in our base here and uh, then we can take our rod or I should say our pipe and uh, marry it together putting this in the uh, side lining it up and uh, there you have it and so you can now by just loosening that uh, put it in place wherever you like. So that gives you, and then to prevent this from spinning, we uh, take our uh, longer three-quarter inch bolt. You might be able to get away with a half inch, but I just use the three-quarter just in, ca just in cases. And uh, there you have it. And that's great for uh, hooking up things for jigs and stuff like that. Using it in a few projects coming up that you'll probably see this design manifested. So this is good if you're using just PVC pipe, but what if you uh, want to mix and match? You can do that uh, simply by, in this case, let's uh, start with a, let's start with a EMT base. So there's our base with the correct diameter for uh, EMT tubing and here's a piece of uh, EMT tubing and we slide that in and then we get the uh, we get one half of the clamp for EMT tubing we want to make sure it's the opposite to what's uh, going to be on the cross piece so that's the that's the indented one so we'll use one that sticks out on the thing on the flange and we put that over top of our EMT pipe and we use uh, a half inch uh, bolt to secure it and then we can use this as we did with the others. And here you can see once again we will we'll use a uh, bolt to prevent it from spinning around and uh, you're laughing. Right? Oh, I guess this doesn't look too trendy as it stands, so let's just spin this around to where we might actually want it to be. And uh, back of that off. There, maybe that's more like you were expecting. So the large base, of course, gives you uh, a certain amount of uh, protection from this thing tipping over. The more weight of course you have the more likely it is to tip. You can change that by weighting uh, the plate down or uh, getting a, making a larger diameter plate. Of course if you're a financial patron of printable science you can order up uh, a STL file for whatever diameter base you want. You'll need a printer large enough to print it of course. Or if you have uh, some pipe that's not uh, the diameters that are provided, uh, then you can uh, order up uh, whatever you need for your particular project. But that's basically all there is to it. Uh, we have uh, STL files for uh, EMT, which is the elect uh, electrical mechanical conduit or whatever it's called, tubing. And we have for half inch PVC and also uh, for uh, half inch uh, wooden doweling. I've got some projects that I'm using that on and same concept. You can just elect to use this clamp for wood as well or this dowling as well. well. We'll get it in there. 
Well, there we go. Right, make a liar out of me. Oh, okay. This is the sticky, the sticky out part, and we want the sticky in part. So we'll just uh, try that again. And now we shouldn't have a problem. And that tightens up like that. So uh, uh, once again, and uh, if you need to, uh, or I should say not if you need to, because you should, then you can put that in there to secure that as as well, and then that'll be uh, that'll be all uh, all that you need. So there you have it, your own 3D printed adjustable pipe clamp. With a clamp like this, your aura will render your opponents to shivering blobs of jello and protect your friends and loved ones from even the most severe cosmic rays. You'll also chalk up a whopping 27 virtue points, so it's probably not something you'll want to leave idle very long at all. Check out the video description for the link to download the STL files you need for this project, and if you know the actual name of this clamp, or you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching! And feel free to visit our website at printablescience.com, where all the science that fits, we print.